Good evening from Storm Team 10 and happy Christmas Eve. Here we have a winter storm watch in effect for those of us here, for example, in Vigo County. That's until 7 o'clock p.m. on Wednesday evening. We also have the winter storm watch in effect for Monroe County until 7 o'clock Wednesday evening. All of this area, in fact, a winter storm watch, maybe even some heavier snow down farther here toward Evansville, where there is a blizzard watch in effect. So this is something we have to keep a real close watch on. I hesitate to tell you how much snow we're going to get uh, because it's still 24 hours away. I can tell you this, you will need your snow shovel and we will have blowing wind and so travel late tomorrow night into Wednesday morning could be a bit of a problem. Now I've been in touch with uh, the uh, air traffic controllers out at Holman International Airport. We don't have anything showing up here on the Storm Team Fury. The control room has told me they would alert. I'm, I'm, I'm getting this. Let's go to the pictures. Let's go to the pictures, shall we? Uh, and see what we have. There's our, our studio. That, oh, did you see that? Flying across the screen there, Mark. Did you see that? Nope. Oh, oh, oh. Santa is in town. Santa's flying right across Terre Haute. Well. About time for you kitties to get into bed. Winds from the north. Wow, that was something, isn't it? We, how we can track that. Northwest breeze to 9 miles per hour, 17 miles per hour in Mattoon. Kankakee, 10 miles per hour. Lafayette, 7. The one thing I will tell you is that when the wind shifts tomorrow, especially, and starts to come from the east, northeast, that's when we can start to expect the snow to get closer and to be closer to its arrival. In the meantime, it's 31 degrees here in Terre Haute, 26 in Mattoon. Wind chill is 23 degrees, 31 degrees in Terre Haute, 31 in Paris. Uh, relative humidity is 92%. Here's the system here, right here, that's uh, moving across. And what happens as this low, which forms here, if you want to make snow for us, this is where you want the storm to form. As it goes across the south parts of our states, and that's when we get this easterly breeze. And that's the reason that we, when we talk about an east breeze, we have the possibility of snow being made. And once again, I think the possibility for some fair amounts of snow are possible. Four inches of snow, two to four inches of snow, not out of the question. There could be some areas that get more than that, but I want to hesitate to get you too excited about the fact. Otherwise, we are going to have snow. Cloudy and cold tomorrow. You're going to be fine tomorrow through tomorrow evening, but then late tomorrow night, snow developing, accumulation likely, an overnight low tomorrow night of 29 degrees. Snow lasts into Wednesday and it'll continue to snow. We might put a few more inches of snow on the ground on Wednesday as well. So we've got some snow coming in. As I say, Mark, I hesitate to tell you how much. Rumors have been going around about 9 to 12 inches of snow and so on. And I think um, in order for me to personally feel responsible, I'm not going to tell you how much. I am going to tell you that driving could be difficult and you're going to need your snowshoe. Yeah, well, that's 